What is up guys, Vulcan here, and well, first off, um, I just want to say sorry that uh, I took such a long break from YouTube. I mean, it was, it was about a week, but I was actually in Milwaukee for a New Year's conference um, with Campus Outreach, which is like a Christian college program, and yeah, I had a lot of fun there. Um, I learned a lot of things, and overall it was a pretty good time. Um, I actually tried to make a video before I left. I was trying to make a free-to-play deck that works in Grand Challenges, but I ended up just losing a bunch of Grand Challenges and that ended up not working out. So, I gotta keep looking for a free-to-play Grand Challenge deck to share, but it didn't work out that day. So yeah, that's why I didn't get out a video. Uh, sorry about that. And... I am back now. Um, I actually got back two days ago, but I had, uh, well, I was taking an English mini master for argumentative essays, and I had, like, the final essay that was due today, so I kind of spent, like, the last two days writing it because I was out of town, and it was pretty long, so I just finished that up. Um, I'm done with the class now. I just need to go in tomorrow to reflect my grades, and then I'll have a week off before school starts again, so... I'm going to try to pump out like a lot of videos and try to get some stuff pre-recorded. I really do, uh, sorry, pre-recorded. I really do want to take this YouTube pretty seriously and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I promise sucks I'd put this battle in here even though it isn't the deck I used during the video. So here First we go. I played this matchup so I'm really not sure how it does. Okay, I'll play Executioner in the back. Tempting to rock of that, but I think I need to actually get my hog to the tower in this game. I'll just play hog opposite lane. He's gonna have to Mega Knight that for sure. And then I might be able to outside his Mega Knight now. Normally I want to play a hog like that, but since he already had troops on the field, or since I already had a had a troop on the field, I knew he couldn't um, like counter push me really hard. Interesting. I think. Oh, that's nice. I was gonna say, I'm just gonna start rocket cycling. Now I do have to be careful though. And I'm gonna throw a hog off the lane just so he doesn't keep it up too big of a push. So he definitely has Mega Knight in rotation, and I'm pretty much screwed at this point. <laughs> but, we'll see what we can do. Maybe I can pull out a victory. Magically. Okay, I'll let that do some damage to my tower, because I really need to get in this push now. I don't want to kill my tower though, so I'll play some golems there. Interesting. Okay, that was really good. Got a lot of damage on his tower. It's actually what I was hoping for. Uh oh. Well, there you go, my friends. What is up guys, Vulcan here, and today I am hitting up the Legendary Challenge. So I am currently 8-1, and, and I am using this P.E.K.K.A. deck. This is uh, the first challenge I've used this P.E.K.K.A. deck in. I used it in a couple like competitive matches and it seemed to go pretty well. But let's hop into a battle and see if I can get the 12 win. So this deck is a little bit more defensive, and um, yeah. But you don't really, you don't have to, the nice thing is you don't have to wait for the opponent to take the first move. You can just start off with like the Goblin Hunt or something. Um, wait a second or two just to make sure it doesn't rush with the Hog Rider. It doesn't. 
And now, if he decides to go a hog opposite lane, I can use my Pekka to defend that. And he doesn't. So, we're looking good. The only thing that uh, won't be pulled by that Goblin Hunt position is, well, a Balloon or a Skeleton Barrel, but realistically, it's not really... Well, first of all, Balloon isn't common in the meta, and second of all, Skeleton Barrel is... Um, you don't really want to use it as your first play. Let's play a P.E.K.K.A. here. Get some nice value out of it. Um, I think he has a P.E.K.K.A. also, but that's fine. I might even try to mix it up and throw a knight in there. Because he's not gonna have a fireball. And I could probably break past his team. Maybe. Ooh, good defense by him. So that that won't get hit on the tower, it's fine. I don't think I'll he'll have like minor or anything to support those bats. So we're looking good, and yeah. Probably should have been using my brain and realized that he had bats there and guards, but fine. Ooh. I think I have to use a defense effect here. The nice thing about Pekka is that, um, on offensive Pekka, like, if he defends this Pekka with his own Pekka, then my Pekka will probably, well, it'll kill, like, most of his health. Yeah, that's fine. Because I get half his health down before he, um, even though he defend on his side of the bridge. So my best is here to finish that off pretty easily. Interesting. I don't know why he plays minor right on top of my musketeer, but hey, his call, not mine. I think I'll go with the minor here, see if I can get some damage on the tower, and I'll save a poison in case he uses electro or something. He uses uh, his guard, so I'll just poison that and get some nice value on the tower. I'm kind of just chilling, honestly. He keeps doing terrible poisons. You always want to use the miner on the tower. You never want to uh, use the miner on a structure. Unless you have like a... That really meta um, deck that won on ladder last season. Any other deck, you really don't want to be using your miner like on a hut. You especially don't want to be poisoning the hut. Okay, nice. This will probably get a lot of damage on the tower. I'll just zap that just that my Pekka can get some more hits on his Pekka. And honestly, I'm not going to play Goblin Hunt anymore. He's just getting a lot of value with his poisons. So I'd prefer not to have to use it. Interesting. I don't know what this guy's doing. Um, I still have another miner. Then I'm going to throw in a lesson tier. Just to try to DPS down the Pekka real quick. I'll zap those bats so I'm going to get some more hits. And then I can use my knight here to defend his miner and my P.E.K.K.A. to defend his P.E.K.K.A. and his P.E.K.K.A. Hopefully I win. Oh. I played my miner in a bit of a bad position here. Okay, I got the prediction on his miner, so now I can defend this with an electro wizard. I mean, I can defend his electro wizard in my deck. I think I got this game in the bag. Honestly, he's kind of sad I almost lost this, because he did not play that well. I think that should finish. Yeah, that finishes the game. GG. Well played. It's probably, yeah, I think in that matchup, um, I don't even want to use Spirit Gauntlet Hut at all because he can just get a lot of poison value on it. So we are 9 1 in the Grand Challenge, and let's hop into the next one. We are up against Tick Kosso. Nice. I'm just going to start off, well, I'll wait a second or two just to see if he decides to go aggressive with Hog Rider. It's really the only thing I'm worried about. Um, 
If not, I think I'm gonna start our also my goblin hut back here. I really don't want to get my goblin hut sniped for like um, a musketeer or something. Ooh, terrible inferno. I'm just gonna minor this. And if you can see value, then I'll hit the inferno also. Also a knight in the back. No reason to go too aggressive, just play patient. Interesting. We'll see who he defends us with, and that'll determine my next move. I'm not really sure what I want to play right now. Okay. I wasn't going to zap that, but I kind of had to because... Yeah, he left me no choice. My pick would have died otherwise. It might get hit on tower, will it? Ooh. I was hoping that my uh, Musketeer would get enough damage to that Infernal that it could get, uh, that could get a hit on tower, but it didn't, but we get the tower down anyway. Nice. It actually takes a P.E.K.K.A. two shots to kill an Inferno. It's kind of crazy. Okay. You might support this. Uh, ooh, he has Hogger. Interesting. Not sure we didn't play that earlier, to be honest. My tower will finish off that Nightwish, so I'm just going to pressure the opposite one. Ooh, interesting. Uh oh. Uh oh, you got me to waste my zap. It doesn't matter. Okay. Got the defense. I, I, can, just def I can just defend at this point. Oh, he's playing some terrible Inferno Towers. Definitely causing him some problems. He could easily defend that with anything else. I use my musket here to defend that. Just throwing out a um, minor because nothing else to do. Just pull an elixir, a nice elixir advantage. Play an ice bridge so that doesn't get any damage from the tower. And it looks like GG. Nice. Oh, that, was, that match was kind of a joke. Uh, we will see what happens next match though. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, this is awkward. Can't do a cringy intro anymore. You guys don't see anything. Ooh, nice. Okay, we are up against JanJB99. Sorry if I'm kind of acting stupid. I'm, I did not get much sleep last night. Okay. Um, I'll wait a second or two. I'll probably just throw out a minor. Nope. He gives me a... Ooh, I thought I placed this too. Nice. I will also play on Ice Bear here just so that he doesn't get too much damage on my tower with that baby dragon. And then I'm just gonna chill out. Um, honestly, I'm just gonna play my Pekka because he has Golem. So he can play defensive Golem here, but my Pekka would kill the Golem, so I wouldn't even matter that much. That's all good. I'll just zap that. Just so it doesn't get damaged on a tower. We're looking fine. If he wants to play Golem or something, that's good. Um, we should be pretty even on Elixir here, so I'm going to wait for his move. Yep. I'll go with a Knight, a Musketeer, and then I'm going to hit him up with the Miner. Let's get a lot of damage on his tower. And even take down. Fortunately, I got a pretty nasty kind of push in my way. I'll have to poison that. Terrible po Oh. Terrible poison. I completely missed his... Now <laughs> my friends is how to lose a game 101. Okay. I will... Will I defend that? Yeah, I'll defend that. Yeah. 
I don't know. Maybe I learn a little bit aggressive. I probably... I don't know. I don't think it's the worst play in the world. Um, I'll just sit back and defend for now, though. He definitely has a uh, tornado in his deck, so it has to be careful with that. Throw to Miner, just try to finish off that tower, and I'll prepare my poison. Definitely got some defensive poison here. Nice. Ooh, that is perfect. I'm gonna see if I can defend this tower because I don't think he has anything to finish off my tower with. Yeah, he has a zap. But he's gonna have to zap twice to finish off my tower. And now he'll be able to cycle to another zap, so I'm just gonna let that um, Lemon Jeff kill the tower and see if I can uh, defend this and then finish off the game. Interesting. I'm just gonna let my Pekka die here. No reason to defend it. I think I'm gonna start starting Goblin Hunts in the back. Even though this Goblin Hunt isn't gonna pull his Golem, I don't want his support troops to be able to get to my Goblin Hunt too easily. So now he's gonna overcommit, and I'll be able to defend this pretty easily, I think. And then I can probably counter push and win, maybe. Uh oh. Well, that's a little bit unfortunate. We'll see if I can do anything here. Play a knight in the middle. Play another Pekka. I think I got this. Yeah. Good game. Nice. I almost threw that game because that Lone Jack got to my tower. But I got the defense. And let's go for that 12 win, baby. Okay, we are up against. Tazari. Nice. It might even be Tazari, because I got that little thingy above the A. Okay, you got Ice Spirit and all this weight. He plays his ghost. I'll play a Pekka a little bit forward because otherwise the ghost will lock onto my tower because the Pekka is so slow and the ghost is pretty fast. Interesting. I'm just going to poison that out. I probably should use Muscle Tear. Mistake number one. And this guy is definitely a golem deck. I think his hand is kind of awkward right now. The only thing he has to defend this is a Night Witch. So I'm just going to play my Ice Spirit to predict that. I'm going to try to get down the Miner. Definitely shouldn't play that Miner. This is how to make mistakes 101. <laughs> oh, I forgot he had Royal Ghost. That's the problem with Royal Ghost. Yeah, it gets so much damage on any tower. It's a joke. Okay, well, this this right tower is a goner, so... I mean, this left tower is a goner, so we'll just try to finish off his tower also. Interesting. Hopefully that kills his... Please. Oh no, you gotta be kidding. This deck is so OP. Wow. I don't even know what to say. I think we might have lost another game. But. At the same time, I think we can still get this. Okay, I can kill that one musty tier. So it's fine. I'm just gonna play super defensive. Yeah, all the troops are just going in the same lane. Yeah, I'm gonna throw in a miner. Get some chip damage, but I don't need my miner for defense on the so closer. I'll put my golem back. Oh, my golem. I'll put my golem hunt back here. I am going to defensive poison. It didn't leave me much of an option there. Okay. Looks like a little too much. Just gonna 
fucking like, hacked on the same way. He does have a big spell, which is nice. So I don't have to worry about him, like, spelling me out or something. Okay, I can get a good value poison. Really nice in the stack of water sheets there. He's a true pro. No other words. This deck is OP. Okay, so got that defense. And I'm gonna have to play a Pekka. Maybe. I'll just play deep. I'll play a poison there. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> okay, we got our butts kicked. I mean, man. How in the world did he come to this? I'm gonna watch the replay and see what I did wrong here. Okay, so he starts out with Will Ghost, I go Pekka. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, what else could you have done there? Um, oh, I remember my mistake. Ugh, I remember my mistake. Wasted a poison. I should not have poisoned that. I should have gone Musketeer. Huge mistake. Yeah, because my Pekka was not gonna give some tower either way. Okay, so that's the take one number one and mistake number two is I spent the minor and bang I lost the game. So don't do that. You gotta make sure you always have a defense in hand for ghost. Big mistake on my part. And uh in early, like single elixir, you really don't wanna be spending a whole lot of poisons on the tower. You just wanna be getting troops on the field. And then you only really want to be poisoning when you can get value. Uh, when you can get value with your poisons. Just going super aggressive right off the bat. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't really have a good counter in hand, so that actually ended up working out for me. But we'll see what he does next. I'll just play a Goblin Hut same lane. Ooh. I am not going to poison that. I'm gonna peck it. Actually, I'm not gonna peck it. Here. Interesting. Hopefully, they get some DMs on the tower. A really unfortunate starting situation. Uh, but I can come back and win this. Okay, I'm just going to start stacking Goblin Huts. And he has to be in the left lane because he's going to try to attack this tower. Thankfully, he doesn't have any big damage spells. So I don't have to worry about that. Um, I am just going to have to let that die. With Divine Miner, he's going to defend with Goblin Gang. And then he's going to make me waste my poison, which I need to defend... The minion horde or the three musketeers with. And he just throws them all in the same lane. This guy's a bro. Okay, I'm gonna have to use my Pekka to defend if he throws a battle run out. It's not. So I will not use a Pekka. I'm just gonna have to keep throwing my Goblin Hunt in this lane because I really don't want his. Um, I don't want his Battle Ram walking into my tower. Okay. I do 
threw that Pekka there because I knew he was going to do that, and now um, he doesn't have Goblin Gang to defend my Miner, so I can get a lot of value on that. I just wanted to start stacking up Goblin Hunts in this lane. Now that it's double elixir, I don't really have to worry about his battle run too much. And weirdly as it sounds, um, this deck is actually, like, you want to be in double elixir. Versus, uh, three months. Sorry about that, guys. For some reason, my recording glitched. Um, I'm not sure exactly what happened. But, yeah, so, whoops. Uh, actually, I, opened this. I forgot to open the chest. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoy the deck and enjoy the gameplay. Make sure to like and subscribe, and Vulcan out!